welcome to today's On This Day in Tudor History. I'm Claire Ridgway, I'm the founder of the Tudor Society and Anne Boleyn Files websites and also author of several history books. Now, in today's On This Day in Tudor History, I'm going to take you back to 1554 and the reign of Queen Mary I. For it was on this day in history, the 30th of January 1554, Thomas Wyatt the Younger, who was the son of poet and diplomat Sir Thomas Wyatt the Elder, um, he and his fellow rebels besieged Cooling Castle near Rochester in Kent as part of Wyatt's Rebellion or Wyatt's Revolt. These conspirators, these rebels, um, were unhappy with Catholic Queen Mary I's plans to marry Philip of Spain, Philip of Spain being the son of the Holy Roman Emperor Charles V. So they, um, they sought to depose Mary I um, because they didn't like the idea of a foreign power, especially Spain, uh, you know, having control of England through Mary. So they sought to depose Mary I and to replace her with her half-sister, the Protestant Elizabeth, who they then planned would marry Englishman Edward Courtenay. Um, the rebels planned uprisings in several parts of England that would all sort of happen together and cause trouble for Mary and her government and of course Mary would be removed. Now Cooling Castle near Rochester in Kent was the home of George Brooke who was the ninth Baron Cobham and he was Wyatt's maternal uncle. Now, Cobham had withdrawn to his castle after the Crown's forces, um, who were led by Thomas Howard, 3rd Duke of Norfolk, had mutinied and dispersed. And according to C.S. Nyson, who's written a biography of Cobham for Oxford Dictionary of National Biography, um, according to him, Cobham claimed that on the day when his castle was uh, besieged by the rebels, that he fought valiantly against the rebels for seven hours before he was forced to surrender to them. But C.S. Knighton points out that actually his resistance to the rebels was uh, a pretense, um, that he had actually joined them willingly but, of course, he couldn't say that to uh, the Crown uh, later. He, he had to kind of pretend uh, that, you know, he had fought against them. He wasn't, it had nothing to do with him, Wyatt's Rebellion. So at this point, uh, with Cobham surrendering uh, to the rebels, you know, things were looking good for the conspirators, for Thomas Wyatt and his men. And they then marched on to London, Unfortunately for the rebels, by the time that Wyatt and his uh, troops had marched on London on the 3rd of February 1554, Mary I had rallied her troops and the people of London by giving a rousing speech. And when the rebels got to London, they found the city barricaded and they found it very well guarded and the rebels were eventually forced to surrender. So their rebellion, uh, their plans were a complete failure, and Queen Mary I, who'd been successful before in, uh, you know, rallying troops against Queen Jane, Lady Jane Grey, uh, she was once again victorious. She'd rallied the troops once more against a rebellion against her and had been victorious. So that was On This Day in Tudor History on the 30th of January, 1554. Thank you for joining me. I'd love to hear your comments as usual. And do subscribe to the channel by clicking on that little button just there. Thank you, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>